Hi guys, episode 3 in my series Things We Can Make From An Old DVD Drive. This is the outer metal casing. I've already drilled some extra holes in it so that I can use that for the axles to go through. I'm going to use my old barbecue skewers for axles. What I'm going to make is a propeller driven car just for fun. I've already moulded a CD into a propeller. I'll put some links in the uh, video description on how to do it if you don't already know. But that's just an old CD that I've melted or cut up and melted and made it into a fan shape. The body's not going to be long enough to put a reasonable number of rubber bands on it, so I shall extend it with one of my flower canes up the middle, and I'll use CDs for wheels. And that's about it. Nice and simple. Uh, oh, I've just thought. That little bit of plastic, that was part of the loading tray assembly from the DVD drive. And I'm going to use that to mount the propeller on the front. Test run time for my propeller driven DVD drive case. pretty successful. Summary time. What have we got? We've got the metal DVD case. We've got four CDs for the wheels, each with bottle tops for the hubs and barbecue skewers for the axles. We've got a flower cane, just hot glue to the top of the case and some rubber bands. At that end there's a paper clip bent round it to hook the rubber band on. At the other end we've got a little bit of plastic that was part of the tray mechanism from the DVD player. Drilled a small hole in it, put a bent paper clip through it, a couple of cheap plastic beads and a fan blade that I've made out of another CD. And there's another bead on the front there, which the paper clip goes through and it's all hot glued together to hold it onto the propeller. The chassis itself, all I've done is drilled four holes in it for the axles to go through. And that's it. A propeller driven DVD drive case. And it just went up my kitchen, which is about five meters, did that quite happily. Probably could have gone a bit further. Not the fastest propeller driven car I've seen, but then that's just using this CD as a fan blade. If you used a proper propeller, you'd probably go better. That's it. End of project number three in the series.